So I'm going to show you an updated way on how to get this Discord Active Developer badge without having to worry about Replit because unfortunately Replit doesn't work anymore. It got patched. So what we need to do first is we need to go to the first link in the description, and this is both for mobile and desktop devices. I'll show you how to do it for both devices, but we need to go to the first link of the description, click on new application, name it whatever you want, then click on the little checkbox and click create. Then once you do that, you want to go to bot, click add bot, click yes, do it. What I want you to do personally, just 100% for safety, I want you to create a new server and just go through, skip this question and just call it the badge bot server or literally anything. I just want you to create a server where no one else is on it. So you don't have to worry about the bot going haywire and doing crazy things. So click on create. And once you're in the server, you need to go to the top left, click on your server settings, then scroll down and enable community, click get started. This is both important and required. Make sure you check both of these boxes, click next, click next, and I agree and understand, and click finish setup. And once you do that, you now have a server that you can invite the bot to. But we need to go to the third link in the description. So the third link, make sure it's the third link and you'll have a page that looks like this. And what we're doing is basically just putting our bot into a website. It's gonna run our bot for a little bit. We run our command and then we're good to go. So we already created that Discord server and stuff, so we're already good to go. So click on next, and what we want to do is we just want to open this in a new tab, this page here. It'll be the Discord developer portal. You want to go to the bot that you created. Now just keep in mind, the process is exactly the same on mobile. I'm just doing it on my Windows computer because it, it's just easier to record, okay? But it's literally just open this between two tabs on your phone. What you need to do is you just need to go to your bot, go to application ID and copy it, and paste that in, and then paste in your public key. Then once you do that, click on next. And what we need to do is we need to copy this link here and paste it into the interactions endpoint URL. I know it sounds like we're actually coding, even though we're not. Then once you do that, click on next and we need to go to the OAuth tab. So we need to click on the little hamburger menu, click on OAuth 2, and then you will see this client secret thing. We want to reset our secret, click yes, do it, enter in your two-factor authentication code. And once you do that, you want to copy your client secret. You want to paste it into the website and click next. Then you just need to open this link in a new tab and it will be an invite link for the bot to join your server. So it's the same as always. Make sure you invite it to your badge bot server, click on authorize. Then all you need to do is just go onto your server and you want to do slash and we just need to do slash finish. Then press enter and press enter. Then it'll say hi there. Now that a command has been ran, you can click on this link here, which will be the fourth link in the description. But when you open up this link, it will take you to this little page here, the active developer badge. Now the thing with this page is that it takes Discord 24 hours for them to update whether or not your bot ran a slash command. So you will need to wait 24 hours. If you're watching this video the second it came out or a couple days after it came out, just keep in mind there's a bug going on where it might not update and you might have to wait until November 16th. So so, or November 15th, November 16th. And once you do that, you just need to go through this application process. It's really straightforward. Just select your server, select the channel, then click authorize, and then kaboom, you have a badge. Now, the thing with mobile is that you actually can't see the badge. So you might have to ask your friends who are on desktop. It's a little weird. Now, once you redeem your badge, there's something really important that I want you to do. I want you to go back to the Discord developer portal and go back to this OAuth 2 screen. And I just want you to reset your client secret one more time. This is just so everything is completely good and your secret is secured. And once you reset it, then guess what? You are good to go. I love you. Mwah, mwah.